Hey everyone, welcome to the second GIMP tutorial in this series. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the different file types you're going to find on GIMP as well as how to open files and how to save files on GIMP. So uh, I've got this Windows File Explorer up and I've got a few photographs here that we're going to be going over. So I'll go ahead and click on the first one and if I double click on this, whoop, went over in the other screen, but you'll notice that this opens on an app called Windows Photo Viewer. Uh, that's just because this is a default app that photos open up on, on my computer. Um, but that's obviously not GIMP, so I'm going to close that out real quick. If I wanted to open this file in GIMP, probably the easiest way to do it from the file explorer would be to back click on it. And if you go to open with, GIMP is going to show up on this list here. Now if it's not there, you're going to have to go to choose another app. And uh, it should usually be under other options because Windows should sense that GIMP is uh, an, an app for photo manipulation and should automatically put it on there. But if it doesn't show up on this, you're gonna have to like browse through your files and uh, literally look for the file itself through your PC. Usually that won't happen. Like that's a one in a million chance that it's actually gonna happen. Windows should be able to sense that uh, GIMP is an image manipulator and put it on there. But in this case, whoop, we're just going to go ahead and open this up in GIMP with the open with. Go to GIMP. And that should open right up. Oh, and in this case, the color profile of uh, the image is a little bit different than what GIMP is used to. So it won't, it'll ask you to convert it and you just press convert and it'll pop right up. And we have this picture of all these rubber ducks and it's ready to be manipulated and adjusted in whichever way you want to. Uh, another way to open a file on GIMP is to just go to file and press open. And this will bring up a file explorer that GIMP generates itself. Um, in this case, it's going to the folder that this photo is actually in. And as you can see that there's another folder in there that I'm going to go ahead and open up. And same thing, just press convert. And in this case, we have a picture of this cute little kid who was doing a peace sign. Um, if you look up here, you'll notice that GIMP didn't close out this picture. It just added another tab to the software. So you can switch in between these two pictures easily. You can open up a bunch of pictures in here without having a problem. Uh, your computer will probably eventually slow down due to the memory, but you should be able to, you should be able to open as many pictures as you need to without the computer slowing down too much. All right, so you got this picture here. Uh, say we want to make some adjustments to it. Say it's too bright for your taste. So I'm just going to make a few simple adjustments to it. I'm going to take the brightness down a little bit. Flip up the contrast a little bit. Take away that bright edge on it. Let's, let's go to uh, shadows and highlights. A few more shadows. Really make the duckies pop. Okay, so... You know, we've made a few adjustments, and this is obviously not the best we could do, but just a few adjustments. And now that we've got our adjustments on our image, we want to go ahead and save our image. Well, if you go to file over here, you're going to notice that there are multiple options for saving this. You're going to see save, save as, save a copy, and then down here we have overwrite ducks, and then export as. So let's go over to save. Let's just hit save. This is going to bring us to this option to see where you want to save your ducks, and let's just save it in the same folder it was in. Let's see, GIMP examples, and we're going to say save. Now let's go back to our file explorer. You notice this image that we had is still the same. It is the unedited image that we opened a few minutes ago. And this is opened, and this has created another image using this file. And instead of showing a thumbnail of the picture, it's showing the GIMP symbol in front of a piece of paper. That's because it's actually created another file type. The file type is different than the original file type of the photograph we had. As you can see, it opens with GIMP, and the type of file is GIMP 21022, or XCF. This is a type of file that's very specific to GIMP. Um, I'm pretty sure it can only open up in GIMP. Like, you'd have to convert it to another file type if you wanted it to open up in any other kind of file type. It's essentially just a project file. It's a file that GIMP can easily open and save stuff in to where when you're working on this, you can just save it in this random GIMP file, and then GIMP can open it back up with all your work saved and all your layers saved and stuff like that. So it's just almost like a placeholder file for your photo while you're working on it. But 
It's also not a good, very good file for like, okay, say you wanted to open this up in Photo Viewer, we'll say open with, choose another app. There's no real app that you can open this with. You can't open, you, you can't really open it with the Photo Viewer. It's not even showing the Photo Viewer as an option on here. It's not an image file, it's a GIMP file, specifically. It opened it back up again. So what if you wanted to save this to a useful image file, a file that you could open with Photo Viewer or post to the internet? Well, in that case, instead of going to save, you're going to want to go to export. Once you hit the export command, it's going to take you to the same window, but instead of having XCF up here on the file extension past the dot, it's going to have PNG. PNG is the default image file that GIMP saves it in. It's certainly not the only image file it can save it in, but it's the default. Uh, if you notice here, the original photo, which is sitting here, is JPEG, or JPEG. Uh, JPEG can also be spelled with an E in between the P and the G, just to let you know. It's the same kind of file, there's literally no difference in them. Uh, but JPEG and PNG are pretty much the two file types that you're going to be working with when you're working with photos. Uh, the main difference in between this two, I'm just going to go ahead and click export, show how it works a little bit. You have a few options on there. Uh, GIMP default options are usually pretty good for most purposes, and as you notice, this is a pretty big photo, so it's going to be it's going to be loading for a while just to get it exported. It's literally just replacing all the pixels that were in the original image and reconfiguring them into another image. Okay, and now if we go over here, we have this picture in JPEG and we have this picture in PNG, and when you open it up in Windows Photo Viewer, they're two completely different images now. Let's open them both. Beautiful. So what's the difference between PNG and JPEG? Well, JPEG, to put this as simply as I can, JPEG saves all of its files in rectangles or squares. It cannot go outside of the rectangle square bound. It is going to be just like a rectangle like this. PNG, however, if I were to say add an alpha channel, and when I add an alpha channel that adds transparency to this picture, and I'll show you what I mean in here in a minute. If I add an alpha channel to this and I hit erase, then it's going to show you this checkered background. This checkered background uh, sig signifies transparency in an image. That just means there's nothing there. Like the image file is not, it's not actually putting anything there, but it's showing the checkered background to represent because it's not obviously you can't just put nothing there. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and export this again. And you'll notice that it has an option to export to DuxPNG. I want to save this as a different file. That's just if you want to quickly export, like a quick change that you did, you can export it to the same file that you just saved. But instead of doing that, I'm going to put export as, and I'm going to put Dux1PNG, and I'm going to go ahead and export this. And it's probably going to take a hot minute. All right, now that that's saved, we're going to go look at our two PNG images. As you can see, we have ducks, and then we have ducks. And instead of showing a background color or something like that, it's just showing this black background that's on Photo Viewer. And you can see this is showing the white background that's on the File Explorer. So no matter what you put this over, say we had a Word document or something that we were putting it over, or we were going to transport it into Microsoft Publisher and put it over something, it was, it's always going to show the color that's behind the photo because that's just transparency there. There are no colored pixels in that photograph anymore. Uh, JPEG, if we were to save it to JPEG, it cannot do that uh, here. It should save that as the background color that's currently in GIMP, but we're going to see real quick. Ducks to JPEG, and again, JPEG spelled with an E is the exact same thing as JPEG not, spell say it. Yeah, not spelled with an E if I can talk. You can see that saved a lot quicker. because of the different file type on there. Okay, so let's see, Ducks 2 JPEG. So there's a giant blue streak across there. That's because instead of saving it as transparency, it saved it as the background color we have on GIMP, or the secondary color. GIMP files, or sorry, JPEG files cannot save transparency. So if you have an image that you want to make into like a transparent background or you have say you draw a heart and you just want the heart over it you don't want the square around the image you want the, just the heart you have to save it in P, uh, PNG it's not gonna work in JPEG 
Those are the three main file types that you're going to be working with on GIMP. GIMP has a lot of other file types you can work with as well, including TIFF and uh, even GIF files. Uh, I'm not going to go over them just now because I think those might be a little bit too advanced with what I'm working with right now, but those are the three main file types that you're going to be working with working with GIMP. Thank you so much for watching, and if you would like another subject that you would like to see a tutorial about on this channel, let me know, and I will do my best to get it on here. Thanks. Bye.